Okay, so the first one uh, I'll test is that 38 grain, which at the moment seems to be the better group. But uh, let's see what kind of speed that gives us anyway. I'm going to aim it into the same group as well. <laughs> Actually, lower than I thought. 28.45. So quite considerable difference from uh, my other loads. <laughs> I mean, there's not too much point of impact difference, it's uh, only gone slightly low, which is fine. And that was 28.52. So a little bit of a, a jump. 28.45, 28.52. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. And then I'll uh, reset it to, to one. Okay, so, like I say, that first one was 28.45 and the second one, 28.52. I know I don't normally uh, only chronograph two rounds, but what I'm trying to do is conserve ammunition and not waste it. So, next we're going to do is 38. Point two. Well, on the standard deviation, and that was, was five. Um, not that we're really interested right now, anyway, with that. In fact, what I might do actually is go to um, to the highest charge again. Try and even the uh, the barrel heat out. So thirty-eight. I'd like to have them around about the 2900 feet per second mark so I mean 38 grains we're not that far away but it's about 50 feet per second difference so hopefully 38.7 is going to be maybe close to where I'm already at with the others Interesting. That's only 28.85, and that's even with the uh, 27, sorry, 38.7 grains. Mm. So they're not actually even <laughs> getting up to the speed that I kind of wanted. So I'm just wondering if maybe I could, um, I could theoretically load these a little bit faster. So 28.85 And still very good pressure
2887. Only two feet per second difference on that. And it pretty much went into that group as well. So far, a standard deviation of 1.4. Hey. Nice. But unfortunately, that particular round jumped up quite a bit. Don't know why, but it went to 28.96. Go figure. I mean, it could be a little bit warm in the chamber, but but still tightly in that group. So this could be the one. 2896. Okay, so reset that to, to zero. I'll just check, see how that barrel's nice and cool. So next up is 38.2. Only two rounds on this one. So twenty eight forty nine. So 2855, 2849, quite close together in speed wise, but um, so far the best groups have been 38 and 38.7 with the 10 thou seating deeper into the case. I may not have to run them any hotter than uh, 38.7. Um, like I said, I would have liked them to be around that 2900 feet per second. Um, but I haven't touched the zero on this with my other rounds. So if they're just slightly slower, that gives me the same point of impact okay it's 100 yards but um, I might just leave them as they are but 37 point uh, 38.7 is looking good even with the chronograph on I don't know, early days. Okay. 
So we're still on 38.2, last round. And that's jumped up to 38, oh, sorry, to 28.62. That's a shame. Okay, so next up will be uh, we'll give it. We'll go to thirty-eight point four, um, and then save thirty-eight point six until last. I'll uh, be cutting the video and give it time to cool down after these next three rounds not to induce any more heat into the barrel so 38.6 Twenty-eight, eighty-two. I'm hoping that's just barrel heat or chamber heat. Otherwise, that's quite quite a jump, really. Which is a shame, really, because the SD was looking really good on that. between that first and second shot. I mean there was only uh, a four feet per second difference and then it jumped up to 28.99. Okay, so the last up is 38.4. I just realised I've just I shot those last rounds into 38.4. Uh, no matter. It doesn't really matter at this point. But uh, all I'm after now is the speeds. So I'll just use that group on the right hand side, which was the 38.6. Okay, and that was twenty eight seventy two. At least I know what kind of speeds we're getting out of these now and um, they're not coming out as fast as my other two bullets which is the um, 
the Burger 130 grain hybrids and the um, Sierra tip match kings. So am I happy with 2889 which is the 38.7 so a little bit so not exactly the results I was really after but um, there's no high pressure signs or anything like that which is great um, strangely enough the um, the projectile even though loading to virtually the same length as the um, Sierras have actually dropped my speed if anything which is quite surprising really well I don't know where to go from work with that 38.7 I could possibly take that up to 39 grains but is it really worth it? Well I won't know until I try. Anyway guys, um, sorry I couldn't have shot some better groups for you but um, I mean 38.7 even with a chronograph um, I mean like I said some of these groups might have opened up because of me um, that's just one of those things I can't get it right every time um, but just by looking at things um, shooting three shots with 38.7 and then um, putting the chronograph on they, they, they've all grooved in that same place no real point about impact difference there at all really um, <coughs> I mean, I know those other rounds, uh, some of them were shooting high, so whether I'm overloading the bipod could be me. But, um, I'm still glad I've come out to, to try these. Um, I am surprised if, you know, if I'm honest, that they've come under 2,900 feet per second. Um, do I need a need for speed? I mean that's that's not a bad speed anyway I mean um, those rounds there for 38.7 were uh, you know 28 96 28 9, 87 28 85 so just a little under 2900 feet per second but they, I think they're shooting sweet. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, I may come out, try a few more rounds, and play around a little bit more um, with powder charges or something. But um, for a first attempt at these, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, I know there's no particular you know fantastic groups in, in overall but you can't have every single one of these charges shooting fantastic anyway but like i said hopefully i've not induced too many mistakes into that um i mean i purposely shot on prone so that uh, i could try and make less errors anyway guys catch you on the next one take it easy bye